Hi, this is Bob, and I have a new project here. I bought a Heathkit SS9000 transceiver on eBay, and uh, I'm in the process now of examining it and just starting to fix it up. It, uh, the SS9000 was a uh, deluxe transceiver designed in 1981, covered all the amateur bands, including the WARC bands. It was 100 watts output, microprocessor type control, uh, circuit boards, uh, all, all solid state. And I had the privilege of putting the first one together in the factory and I was promoted to uh, engineering technician when I did that. So I was engineering technician in the uh, developmental laboratory at Heathkit for amateur radio. Uh, this unit here has had some bad times. You see this big green stain in here? That is caused by the memory batteries, which are ordinary AA batteries that were in these holders. And someone stored this and they didn't take the memory batteries out, so that ran all over inside. So I'm taking all the circuit boards out, I'm going to clean the whole thing up inside with a Brillo pad. Uh, this is plated steel, so the plating is gone in a lot of places. There's no plating in here anymore. So that will be quite a job. I'm going to take all this out. I've got the, most of the circuit boards out. Here's a couple of the circuit boards here and a couple over here. This is the audio circuit board and it's been damaged. You can see in this area here, it's been damaged by that uh, fluid from in the batteries, which I believe is a is a alkaline, uh, very alkaline substance. So uh, that has to be taken care of. Another problem will be these connectors. See all these little connectors? These are tin plated connectors. Now you know from computer use, or a lot of people know from computer use, that the gold plated connectors don't tarnish, but the tin plated ones do. And with that very corrosive atmosphere from that uh, battery fluid, uh, these all are corroded badly. So they'll all have to be cleaned. I will clean those with a pencil eraser and then when I get done cleaning I will put a tiny bit of silicon grease on my finger just a little bit and wipe it on each one of those on both sides to get that uh, coated so that it will not corrode again this one here I noticed has a gold plated connector right here and that is in good condition so that's why they use gold plated connectors in a lot of the computer things and a lot of the equipment and if you look here, you got connectors, 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 connectors. These will all have to be cleaned. And then all the controls and switches, likewise, will have to be cleaned. And a little bit of oil. Now, I showed you folks how to do that on the uh, SB110 restoration videos. So I'm not going to go into that now. But right now, I'm just disassembling, examining, and uh, documenting everything with the camera. I get in there, and I take pictures of these connectors and where they go and how they connect so that I can plug them all back in together. I'm also using a real tiny Sharpie pen and I'm putting on each connector when I disconnect it a, the number of the connector. And these numbers on this heat kit is nice because they're right there on the board. See there's a number right there for that connector. And then you put the numbers on like that and then you can plug them back in where they belong without too much trouble and you can refer back to your pictures I'm taking pictures of everything like up here I'll take a picture of this and I can see where all the wires go I take a picture of that of course you get all those three items there right in one picture actually and uh, so that's what I do at this point of the examination so that's it guys so we're starting on a new project this thing is in really bad shape but we hope to get it up and running so uh, I want to wish all you folks out there, this is the holiday season right now, so I wish you a happy holidays and good DX, guys.